to make a comeback too. I'll do apologize to him. That sucks. Transactions, if you want to do it, but otherwise you can earn everything in game. Like gold, you get in game. You can convert pizza into gold. But you get a, uh, you can sell your items and stuff and get more gold. Like if I go to, blah, 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 blah. I think I have to go to the actual campaign. If I go to campaign, all right. So these are this is a single player campaign. These are all level stuff. I'll do uh, one of the quests on this. But if I go to, let me go back to multiplayer and see what that dude said. Eh, whatever. I just hate having to think. So it starts off. Uh, you'd get level one missions and stuff like that. But if you go to the armory, yeah, I'll look bad in this adventure for now. So this is where you can buy stuff with gold, um, the level one stuff, and you also can sell all the stuff you get from treasures, like, right here is just a treasure, so it has no other value besides getting gold, so I can sell that and get 10 more gold. So right now I've got 112 gold and, uh, 20 pizza slices. Yep, they start off with some pizza slices to, um, from doing some quests, and, uh, when you start doing multiplayer to buy your first, uh, pack of adventures. I don't know if you can unlock more without having to pay. I mean, I'm probably going to drop the money in this because I love this game. But yeah, this is where you can do more custom loadout. There's also, um, I've got a rare shop that restocks weekly. Where you can buy stuff for gold. Um, you can buy chests over here. And the cool thing is all your gear from uh, the campaign and multiplayer is available to each other so you can build it off that. But, uh, multiplayer, everybody is level 20. And I think my characters on this are like level 6 right now. Yeah, my campaign characters are level 6. Alright, let's do some more multiplayer. Multiplayer is... What's cool about multiplayer is you get, um, each day. See, right now I've got, uh, 17 hours to get through the whole thing. So I will get a rare... Yeah, everybody in PvP is even besides what gear you have, so it depends on what type of deck building you have. It's a lot like Magic the Gathering in that regard. So, this you get rewards after each one that you win. So, this is going to be... Alright, this has one rare and one better item, and three random items. So, you get four items out of this, then you get a standard chest, then all the way up here where you can get an epic loot. And 
also if you dip um, I'm trying to remember how you get the supporter edition. Okay, so yeah, if you buy a supporter, like a membership, you get an extra um, item with your chest. Which you'll see when I actually run around. Alright, 
drone on the drone. Ooh, penetrating. Yeah. Gonna kill him this turn. subscription you want like there's hang on let's see i haven't paid i haven't actually spent any real money on this yet um okay 30 days one month is 300 pizza 300 pizza is 330 is 10 bucks so i'd say it's like about nine bucks for a month You can always grind it all out, so... Alright, let's see what I got. Level 2 Divine Weapon. Eh. Got higher level stuff. Level 3 Uncommon Divine Armor. Let's see. Yeah, level 18. Uh, level 15 Rare Stuff. Okay, this might be worthwhile. Kona Cold. That's all encumbering. It does some decent damage too. But right now, I'm built more towards Spark. So let me see. Can I replace? No, I can't replace that. Hang on. Let me see if I can get something for cold. Yeah, I'm gonna keep my Spark build for the moment. Two holy presents which boost my heal and one that uh takes away train. I 
get some more pizza so I can unlock uh, some of the other starter sets you can buy. Oh, they went up in price, it looks like. They were 40 earlier. I'm definitely gonna end up spending some money on this, I can already tell that. You actually have, like, during the campaign, you have, like, a little storyline going between the DMs and there's a pizza girl that comes by and stuff. Actually, you know what? Let me do some of the campaign. I don't know why I just didn't let me go into a ranked match. I'll do some of the single player real quick. Let's see if I can't get some decent items on there. Alright, so I still... These are all the ones I've beaten, and you can, uh, redo them. You can redo them after a certain point in time. Right now everybody's level 6. Okay, so here you go. So you've got the traditional art. I don't think there's any co-op at the moment. Unfortunately. So yeah, there you go. Show no mercy here. Gary, the adventure is so hard some players will limp out and try a compass of Zora instead. Alright, so this is a three battle one. And you've got the art that's kind of like freaking D&D. The modules. <laughs> Alright, so let's try this. You can have the flavor text and everything. Okay, if I told you once, I told you a thousand times. If players an ancient, they'll take a mile. Okay, so, chapter one. The gleaming caverns are an ancient mine deserted more than a century ago after a series of rock falls and floods. It's been long forgotten and recently when a wandering tribe of kobolds chanced upon it. The discovery of a giant diamond! The white star has created a wave of religious fervor among the kobolds as they've convinced it contains the soul of kobold demigod. The entrance to the mines are heavily guarded by kobold avengers and spearmen led by a kobold priest. These cunning creatures man hidden guard posts that overlook the entrance. As you approach, they attack from the flanks, attempting to pinch you and surround you. Like, compared to the other games I've played that are like this, this one's probably the best so far. I know Mojang's coming out with that Scrolls game, which is, eh, could be decent, but I don't know. There's another one that I was gonna check out and see what it's... Ah, I just read a recommendation for it. It's another free-to-play one, and I've played another one called The Balls, which is a little bit too microtransaction heavy for me, but it's fun. This one seems like the perfect balance of you don't have to buy microtransactions or anything. Okay, so I'm gonna get her in the center. Oh, uh, which... God, the Magic the Gathering one... I never actually played that. I think I downloaded it and I never got around to it. The Magic the Gathering Tactics? I think it's on Steam. I can't remember. Yeah, I played some of Duel of the Planeswalkers, like 2012, just to try and get back into magic. Like, I used to play magic all the time back when I was younger. But I gave away all my cards and stuff when I joined the army, and then I bought a few decks and tried to get back into it, but, ah, oh, the rules changed so much, and, uh, it's so expensive rebuilding a collection. I don't know if I can do CCG's games anymore, unfortunately. I, I used to love them. I ever used Lackey? Never heard of it. Oh, what's going on? I dropped a few frames there. So let me get my torch. They're probably gonna come from this direction, so. Not like Duel of the Planeswalkers where it's limited deck building and all that. It's an online tabletop where you can play card games. Oh, okay. Oh, sweet. 
Yeah, I've actually one of my better friends in the, in the army that still plays. Uh, I think he's living in California, but yeah, we were playing. Um, we're using D20 and stuff like that to uh, play like tabletop games online. We were using a few things to do online tabletop games, just because like all my friends over like I'm 30 years old, so over the years my friends have gotten married, moved away, all that. So even so, it's hard to get together for a freaking tabletop game. Everybody with kids and all that. So we just use like online stuff now, for the most part. point where it's hard to get together for games. It sucks, man. It's part of growing up, but thankfully I've got an awesome, like, tabletop store near me, so I actually can go to the, like, local store and find D&D games, and, uh, I want to play Magic, they have Magic all the time. playing D&D. &D. Nice, nice, yeah. Um, God, my friend who's got kids was teaching, he started his kids out on tabletop with, a uh, Catan, and, uh, like, Ticket to Ride. Now let's get rid of and everything like if you, you can move around the board and everything they got the dice over to the side it's got the wood grain on the table the pencil it's like the little pe attention to details like that that i love and the whole isometric view and the cutouts like the actual miniature characters i just i don't know this this game is just beautifully put together if you ask me issues yet he's like he's still kind of stress testing it he's actually i think he said his server's running on like a little pc in his room or something like that it's only one server that's what the admin was saying i asked him how many servers he had last night and he said he just had one it's just running off a of pc he's got i guess takes off, but yeah, lots of people have been mentioning the game already, so...
Spearman. Ah, it doesn't say. It doesn't say the name of it. That's weird. Oh wait, yeah. Yeah. All right, Zot. Uh, whatever. I'll cast it on that one. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Yeah, I can see this taking off in popularity. up on the forums, man. He seems like a pretty active, uh, dev when it comes to answering people's questions. Like, he just hangs out in the multiplayer chat and was asking, answering questions last night. Alright, so, I'm gonna move him away. I don't like people getting this close. Let me move him there. 
or something like that. <laughs> yeah, it's not surprising there's posts about co-op. Well, it's program too, so I've, been, I've actually been working on, like, uh, yeah, I was working on something a little bit like this, but with, a, uh, I was working on doing an open GL animation for dice rolls for, like, random number generation stuff.
Or something like that. <laughs> I wouldn't mind some pizza right now either. Oh, 
we should take a look at some of the rules for uh, D&D Next. It's even more combat oriented. Yeah, 3.5 is the best rule set if you ask me. It's definitely my favorite. That's probably the reason we switched over to Pathfinder. Okay, so if I move her to here, what angle do I have now? Ooh, perfect. Oh, she's got better view. Are they reprinting the books? Good, because that was kind of a pain to find. Yeah. Actually, one of the places in the states that gets like the most snow every year, so I think I'm allowed to say it. Ah, 
that telekinesis doesn't have enough reach? Curses, I was gonna pull him onto the acid. <laughs> Come on. 
priest and he aids his allies with buffs. His followers Cobalt Avengers attack him with crushing attacks and take full advantage of the dangerous mob guard. Oh, and if you actually lose a battle, you get to uh, retry it a total, I think, of three times. Then you gotta restart the whole adventure over. Okay, so this is going to be an interesting one. Alright, Spark Generator. She doesn't have any freaking attacks already. Really? Really? Alright, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to force them to come to me. Thank you. 
Thank you. 